next question in Tim Ferriss's video, in his book, um, his top 11 questions to people is, what is the single best investment you made into yourself? Or I guess single best investment you've made could be money, could be time, could be energy. On the, the money side, definitely getting coaching uh, for all things in my life. Starting with fitness and health, I guess you could say that, you know, my academic education is an investment in myself. It was not the best investment I ever made because I actually learned more from other things and got more return on investment from other things. The, on the health side, uh, that was first. So investing in getting coaching for me and health and guidance for me was it. Then on the wealth side, um, the greatest investment was getting business coaching on how to develop my business and grow my business. And the return on investment of that was so great that it's become kind of like a, it really opened my eyes to just how impactful it can be when you are highly invested in a coaching program. When there's real money involved, you take real action. There's a great expression that says, the more you pay, the more you pay attention. Well, getting business coaching for myself and my businesses was huge. It was monumental and it really pushed me and my team to do a lot more, accomplish a lot more, make the change we need to do so that our business legitimately grew. So on the business side, that. On the health side, coaching for health, fitness, nutrition, and then um, on the relationship side, the best return on investment I've ever gotten is on committing that Thursdays would be the days where I take my son Zai out on a date. Say hi, Zai Zai. Hi. So that is definitely the best investment I've ever made on the relationship side because those days create so many memories and such incredible joy. I just love hanging out with my son, love going to Edison's and the trampoline park and swimming. Last night we went bowling together, didn't we Zai Zai? Yeah. And it was great. So those are the best investments I've made in terms of time, money, I, I guess like all the time that I invest into my own fitness journey, my own health, my own like meal prep, investments of time into meal prep and investments of uh, energy into doing workouts, if, even when you don't feel like it, they are exponentially great return on investment. And I'll be completely frank, most days I am not in the mood to exercise or not feeling it at the time of the exercise. Today is one of those days. I'm dropping outside of school here, and then I'm gonna go in and do my own workout with the 9.30 a.m. class, and I'm already like, Ugh, man. I'm not in the mood for it. I was in, on a roll with my work when we left, and you know, once I get into that zone of productivity, I like to stay in that zone of productivity. There's yeah, I would say it is the exception, not the rule, that I'm ever like ready to go exercise, in the mood to go exercise, um, feeling like exercising when I go to exercise. But I always say this, that even if I'm not wanting to do it before I do, it is always worth it when I'm done. I'm always glad that I did. So this is one of those days where maybe I'm coming in and I'm feeling, you know, 30% of capacity, but I'm gonna give what 100% of that 30%, let the chips fall where they may. And that is the nature of being willing to invest in oneself.